All right, let's get into this card straight off the bat. UFC 291. 291. Oh, what's 300 going to be? That's got to be juice. That's going to be absolute juice. What do you reckon, Madison Square Garden? Yeah. Nah, probably not. That's New York, isn't it? Yeah. Nah, fuck that. (laughs) They'll go somewhere else. What do you reckon? Uh, The apex. (laughs) (laughs) Can you imagine? (laughs) (laughs) Nah, it'll probably be like... uh, I don't know. Oh. Do you imagine if they do make it a free to air? Yeah, that would be. <laughs> that imagine would. the viewership. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Where could they be? They've been everywhere lately. Australia, England, like fuck. Where would you go? They wouldn't go to Brazil. It'd have to be. Could it be the MGM Grand? Yeah, I feel like that makes more sense. Well, what about the Staples Center in LA? Mm. I don't think it's. Is it? I don't think it's called that anymore. No. It's called Crypto Arena. <laughs> yeah. Some people got burned with that crypto, didn't they? So bad. So many people were making money in those early days. Why did I sell that Bitcoin? 600 I got it for. Oh, 600. Jesus. I know. I know. I do. I, you know what? Though? I don't feel that bad. Mm. I got it for 600 and it went up to two grand and I went, I'm in the money here. Yep. I'm out. Yeah. But you made a profit. I mean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no dramas with it. But some people just, some people went in too hard. Yeah. Oh, it's so bad. So bad. And I still can't understand. I, I honestly wouldn't know if I had a wallet. <laughs> I wouldn't know how to sell it or yeah. anything. I got no idea what's going I, on. I got into it for a bit, but nah, I don't know. I only made a little bit of money from it. Like for the long time I was there, only making a bit of profit was a bit of a letdown. Yeah. So, you know, I didn't really know what I was doing. It was like shares. Are. It's, it's yeah. sort of the long game now. It used to be yeah. the overnight game. Yeah. You oh, can no, lose I'd... a lot of money overnight on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In my experience, shares are way more profitable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's get in this card. Um, first up, this one. I'm going to start with the early prelims. First fight of the night. Mm. I think this is a bit rough. Only because the it definitely should be main card, but this should at least be. I thought this should be the second, um, second uh, like the co-main event in the prelims. If that makes sense. Yeah. All right. This is why Miranda Maverick. Let's have a look at Miranda Maverick here. What's your feelings towards Miranda Maverick? Ah, uh, I don't know. She she's a company man. She says yes to every fight, but she's so boring. <laughs> she's not as exciting as she used to be. She's good on the ground, mm. and that's about it. Mm. Now she's fighting what I, who I like to call the biggest cheat in the UFC <laughs> is Priscilla Cachoeira. Now I I like Priscilla. Mm. I think she's great. She's, and, and she's the queen of the desert. <laughs> she, she looks like. She's on crack, <laughs> right, doesn't she? She does look like she's. She on looks crack. like a full cracky. She looks like she's done. She looks like she's at some point in her life. <clears throat> she has hit hard times. This is my opinion, Priscilla. She, I know she listens to the show each week. <laughs> she has hit hard times, and she may have done something behind a Seven Eleven dumpster <laughs> for money. <laughs> Can you can you allegedly see, allegedly can you see why so many why are our numbers dwindling? Jesus, I don't know. We got quality <laughs> picks on this on this podcast. <laughs> All right, have a look at some odds. Jeez, this is going to be a long one today. How, how do you think those experiences play into her fight game, Brad? I think she's good. I think she's seen some shit. <laughs> that one against was it Gillian Anderson, where she repeatedly eye gouged. She should have been remember. cut from. She should have been cut from the UFC. There, mm. she was getting choked, and she reached up. And she felt, and she felt the eyes. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the thing in. yeah. I remember that. She should have been. Cu- I'm glad she wasn't. Mm. But how odds here? Oh, Miranda Maverick is a heavy favourite. No, I'm going Priscilla. Yeah. I'm going Queen of the Desert. <laughs> I didn't give that joke enough when you said it, did I? Thank you. I, I didn't did. know if you knew what I was talking about. I, I did, but I was thinking about something else. That was a very funny joke. Okay, <laughs> Maverick. She's only 26. Okay, she has. This is why. Miranda Maverick. Um, I can't tell if she's hot or not. What do you reckon? She's uh, she's not my cup of tea. Let's have a look at her. And uh, Maverick. Jeez, we're focused today, aren't we? I can't work it out. I can't. I can't work it out. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sold. <laughs> Nah, she sounds like she'd just be. She looks like she'd be quiet in the point in the sense of. 
if you took her out for a nice meal, it'd just be a hard conversation. Mm. It'd be. I think she'd be very agreeable. I think it'd just be tough. Yeah, I think it'd be a tough gig. You'd never know where you stood with her. Yeah, it'd, yeah. I think she's just. She'd oh, buy a steak, and then you have to get the steak that's bigger than the one that she got. Oh, you, know, you got like, it. She could eat a fair bit. She's a solid girl. I wonder if it's yeah. Sada. She's jacked, man. She's jacked. Sada just licking their lips. Going <laughs> the next one. Okay, why? Why I'm just questioning Miranda Maverick. Mm. I know I do call her Melinda Maverick a lot, which you do. Everyone, I know everyone corrects me. I know it's not Miranda. <laughs> She's only got wins over um, uh, Jejua, who is one and four. Mm. Gillian Robinson, who's nine and six. Sabina Mazo, who's th- three and four. And Shana Young, who is two and three. Mm. So her opponents, besides Gillian Robinson, are all under 50% yeah. win. She's not beaten anyone. She does have a win over Pon- <laughs> Pearl Gonzalez. From in- that was back in her NVIDIA days. I yeah. did put a link in there to her OnlyFans, but I will not go into that. Now... <laughs> Priscilla, Why? Priscilla, she nice lady. <laughs> Pearl Gonzalez. Let's have a quick look then. <laughs> oh look, Fuck. it comes up top, the top third. <laughs> that didn't take a lot of convincing. <laughs> if you put, um, uh, if you put NSFW after anything, it, the the search is a lot better. <laughs> I can't tell. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I think She's done pretty. up. I think done up. Pearl Gonzalez. I think in about twenty years. <laughs> I th- where's she from? Where's Pearl, Pearl Gonzalez from? Let's have a look here. Uh, <sighs> El Mexico, Colombia. Uh, where's she from? She's from Chicago. She's definitely got. See there. I reckon in about twenty years. Ah, uh, is this going to be a tough gig? Mm. She looks naggy. <laughs> Not naggy. She looks like she looks like she'd yell at you. I, reckon, I think she looks chill as. I reckon she'd be cool. She would yell at you in Spanish, <laughs> and you say, "What did you say?" And she just would give you the silent treatment. She, she'd yell at you in Chicago. Because <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what her background is. <laughs> Where is it? She must. Uh, anyway, she looks Espanol. Priscilla. <sighs> Jesus, today has lost the plot. She lost to Jillian. That was when the eye gouged. She dropped her first three fights in the UFC. Should have been cut. I'm glad she wasn't. Mm. Should have been cut. And then she's come back. The beauty about the cheat is she's on two fight win streak. She's only got one loss in the last five, and that was to Jillian. That yep. was during the repeated, repeated eye gouge. Yep. She came in. Did you see her, her UFC? We've gone through this before. Her UFC debut. You know who it was against? Valentina <laughs> Shevchenko. <laughs> and then she lost to Molly Meatball McCann. I'm not going to go into Molly. I am. Um, Here we go. Hang on. Let us. Let me just get ready. Uh, all of our UK subscribers, get ready to hit unsubscribe with what's about <laughs> to come out of Aljamain's mouth. Go. She has the worst submission defense. In the history of the UFC. She wasn't... No. What's, was, what's, oh, what's the opposite? What's the opposite? <laughs> uh, like, there's, there's good, bad... What? Like, are you going to say that she was in a position she couldn't get sub from and then threw herself yes. in the armbar? There was only one way <laughs> that Luana, or whatever her name was, could have finished that armbar, and, and Molly did it. <laughs> She just she, she literally just flipped to her back and mm. and just gave her the armbar. She couldn't get the arm because she was up yeah, against the, the cage. Fence, yeah, what the fuck? How how do you how are you in the UFC and you do that? Like, and I also cannot think of what she possibly could have been trying to do. Yeah, I don't know. It's just ridiculous. And then her last fight before that, when she got subbed, was like ridiculous defense as well. Do you think? I, I made a post on our Instagram page that Blanchfield got, um, is when the Kumara got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That, well, Stolarenko. Um, Jesus, yeah, Stolarenko yeah, got yeah. on the weekend. Um, I made a post on the Instagram page because Molly's. You come, uh, I think she's yeah, she's moving down. I do. I do. Thank you for taking over the Instagram. <laughs> I have seen the effort. Everyone, if there's anything on Instagram that shouldn't be there, it's not me. <laughs> Go ahead. There are sometimes I post something. And I'm like, hopefully they just think this is Brad. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, uh, I posted a thing on Instagram. She's going down in weight. And she was giving this big thing about why she's losing. And I just wrote, all your submission defense sucks. <laughs> and we got quite a bit of love on oh, that. Oh, nice. 
Nice, Aljamain, actually doing something for the GR. Nice. Not running up, not running up on time. Molly McCann's uh, Hannah Goldie is – what are we even talking about? Let's not go – speaking of OnlyFans, <laughs> Hannah Goldie's OnlyFans, <laughs> check that out, people. That is worth a look. <laughs> We're even talking about Priscilla. Catch where I – okay. Anyway, I said she looks like a cracky. She's got cracky power. And I know firsthand – what, I've been on the receiving end of Cracky Power once. Really? Really, really once. I'm not going to say the situation I was in. You probably know what I say. Okay. It's about 16 years ago. Okay. So you can imagine. I'm not saying what I was doing for a job, but you can imagine. It was what it may have been what I'm doing before I did now. Right, okay? right, okay. And there was someone who was uh, very, very mouthy to me, and it was a female. I'm not proud of this. It was a female who was, she would have all been maybe five... Five four, five mm. five, very thin, mm. and then I'm just going to call it Cracky. <laughs> cracky decided she wanted to fight me, yeah. which I was not provoking at all. Mm. I was like, oh, you know, mate, mm. calm down. Which That's is the worst thing you can say yeah. to a woman, and worst thing you can say to a female, Cracky. <laughs> anyway, so Cracky didn't want to calm down, and Cracky wanted to fight me. Mm. Now Cracky's half my size, thin, mm. probably weighed ah oh, at a stretch. 50 kilos yep. at an absolute stretch, probably closer to 40. Wow. Small girl. Anyway, I tell you, the live odds, <laughs> if there was live odds, oh God! I started out as a heavy favourite. Halfway through the first round, I reckon I was the underdog. <laughs> I was in trouble. I was in trouble. Wow. Cracky power is a real thing. <laughs> I had – okay – I was I was just I not definitely never ever violence against I don't like violence against anyone especially mm. females. Mm. I was just trying to hold Cracky down, and I ended up managing to get Cracky on a stomach, and I had her in double chicken wing. You know the old chicken yes. wings, double chicken nice. wings. Cracky couldn't get anywhere. They called the five O to come in and just sort out the situation, which mm. I was happy about. Cracky, who was in double chicken wing, and I was. Not not kneeling on her, but I was had weight on her, just yeah. holding her. She can breathe, that's fine. So you subdued her, she yeah. attacked you. Yeah. Anyway, Cracky has managed to push, and this is against me, full boat, and straighten her arms, <laughs> and got up. What? And I've gone, oh, so, I, I, oh, the, the live odds were like a roller coaster. <laughs> it could have gone either way. You had the control time, she had the damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she had the damage. She threw in a groin shot as well, <laughs> early. Early, she she got it was an open hander straight there. Oh god! So I was in trouble. Herb Dean didn't see it, so it wasn't <laughs> it, it wasn't stopped. And um, let's just say, do you remember when um, I think was it was he hit triple C? Remember when Canelo hit triple C with that liver shot? Yes, and yeah. and, and just launch it, just folded him. Yeah, oh, I'm not proud of my actions. I threw in this liver shot, and it just hit the button. <laughs> and cracky went down. I'm not proud of it. Yeah. I'm not proud of it. And then, um, but but yeah, the, the strength was incredible, mm. absolutely incredible. Cracky strength. Anyway, how well, do we- you had to defend yourself? It was justified. <sighs> Is <laughs> you this couldn't, you couldn't hold this small woman down? <laughs> she managed to get out with her cracky strength. That's it. That's very impressive. The double chicken wings, double chicken, and locked in, yeah, locked in with the knee. That's crazy madness. Is this, could this be the worst yes. <laughs> fight review for the first fight on the early prelims that we've ever done? I'm so sorry to our subscribers. <laughs> You'd love it. You'd love it. We haven't been like this in a long time. Oh, we haven't dedicated any um, anything to anyone. First off, mm. D5K stats mm. have been doing a great job. They and are consistent. They are consistent. If you don't subscribe or follow or any of this... DK five stats, then I'm not going to swear, but but you're you're a piece of trash. They are, they are so good. They've been supporting us. We've had a couple of weeks off due to a number of reasons. Those supporters, DK five, D five K stats, not DK five. I just can't get that right. Mm. Who else? Oh, um, Dana Zavora. Sending us posters. Man, she's been around for like over a year now doing this for She's us. a delight. Diana awesome. Zavora. We should come to Perth. I think she. we are Take the highlight of her week. Really? Yeah. I do message her a lot. I hope, Diana, if you're listening, which I know you do, if I've messaged you too much, just say, just calm down a bit with the messages, Brad. 
<laughs> Hopefully you're going well and the, the granddaughter's healthy. I heard she's doing great, which is all I ask for. Fantastic. Anyone else? Any subscribers? Pretty much the whole of South Africa. Yeah. I picked I pick Drakus. Yeah, you did. I picked Drakus. You know what? I, I should have... I mean, in hindsight, I should have picked Drakus. Because he had way better chances. He's than what people so had. good. Yeah. He's a, how, how good was he not dropping the end bomb? <laughs> Dude, that line he said, though. Ah, uh, Drakus. Oh, man, that was so cold. <laughs> Do you think he can beat Izzy? Uh... If he gets it to the ground. Drakus is, is incredible on the ground. Yeah. It's what people... If, yeah, if he can get on the ground, for sure. 100%. He definitely can. But Izzy is very hard to get on the ground. But I think Drakus is capable. He's a smart guy. Which is crazy, because we weren't saying that about him a few weeks ago. I was. I, I was, was saying that Drakus was an incredible fighter. I've always... I went back. Mm. I went back, and I've been on the Drakus train from the start. Oh, absolutely. No, that's fine. But we didn't say he was intelligent. We said the opposite. Yeah. Yeah, no, but you did. Then he fought Rob and everything fit into place. Yeah. I think he is... Broke my heart. Even just like the interviews and like the press conference and all that mm. stuff, the way he dresses, the way he speaks. Ah, he's so good. I love him. He is like up here now for me. Ah, yeah. Yeah, good on him. Hope he wins it. Can you oh, imagine? Look, I love Izzy and I love his title reign. And if he won, I wouldn't be like sad. I would. But I really would like Drakus to win. That'd be so good. Because um, also... Tell me. His whole argument is not wrong about yeah, this African thing. They never go to Africa. They don't do <laughs> anything there. He lives there. He was born there. I'm not saying they weren't, but he was born there and he trains there. Mm. He has every right to be saying what he's saying. I'm sorry. Drake is duplice. Jeez, I get that excited. I pronounce his name wrong. That's, un- <laughs> that's unlike me. Juice Plissé. And Juice. That's what we should call him, Juice Plissé. Yeah. And um, surprisingly, we've got quite a big... South African fan base as well. I don't know how that happens. I have no idea. Do they just have nothing to do? <laughs> how did you find us? <laughs> These shows that are so much better than yeah. ours. <laughs> Shout out to everyone in the, in South Africa. Yeah. I should not say name. Dropping some places. I only know like Joburg and Pretoria and Johannesburg. That's Joburg. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, who are, we go- Matthews. who are we going on? Uh, we got some odds. I did. Uh, I'm going cracky here. Priscilla. Cracky yeah, all day. I'll probably do the same. Really? Yeah. Oh, 321. Marav- Maverick is, just, she's just too, she's too unpredictable. We'll never know what to expect from her. I don't really care about this fight. <laughs> she's kind of like the um, Aspen lad. She reminds me a touch of Aspen lad. Really? Yeah, just in the sense of if she's on top, she does well. But I think if, if she gets, usually I, I find that with Aspen lad, and I know she's not new UFC anymore, and um, Miranda Maverick. Mm. About halfway through the first round, you can almost tell how the how the yep. fight's going to go. Yep. So, I don't know. if I think Miranda's a better fighter. What are the um, physical attributes? Let's have a look at the physical right. attributes of these two. Oh, geez, we're going on only Miranda's, fans there. Miranda's huge. <laughs> what am I even doing here? Hannah Golly, what was I even looking at? You wanted the reach and stuff of Hannah... Uh, of Miranda Maverick, and, Miranda Maverick and Priscilla, the Queen of the Desert. <laughs> All right, so we got Miranda Maverick. What's she? Uh, so Priscilla is five seven with a reach of sixty five. Same, sixty five, five three against what? five seven. Miranda is not that small. That is questionable, people. Who's done? Who has done the Wikipedia page for Miranda Maverick? I would. <laughs> Attempt to correct it, but ev- as everyone knows, I am banned I from any say, editing on Wikipedia. We wouldn't make that mistake. <laughs> Due to that absolute peanut who took things too far. I made a joke, it was funny, and apparently he doesn't like it. I'm going to start up a new Wikipedia account <laughs> and then start editing James Blunt's. <laughs> hey, guy, I'm going to get that apology. I was telling my kids, my kids asked me that the other day. They go, Dad, what is it with you and this, this <laughs> singer? And I said, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Who are you? What are you doing in my house eating, <laughs> eating my food? And they said, our mum said that you, that you there's some singer that, that you've been messaging. And I said, yeah, it's coming up to 18 years. That's not good enough. <laughs> I'm going to get that. I'm more determined now than I was at the start. I'm going to get that apology from that guy. James Blunt lied to my face, everyone. Yeah. It lied was to my very face. Rude. Anyway, Just, so what, what are you <laughs> talking about here? <laughs> Fight one of the prelims. Just the villain arc. Sorry, just the villain arc of like 
you leaving that venue and looking up and seeing him drinking on that balcony. I was, <laughs> like, so, I was so pissed. I could picture it. I could picture it. And my mate Antoine, and shout out to Antoine uh, Jones. You have a around. friend called Antoine? Yeah. That's what I want my name to be. Antoine. Yeah. yeah Antoine Jones. That is so cool. I know. And the weird thing is, is Antoine is is uh, African American. Yeah. It's very dark. Uh, and we we hang out, and when we did hang out, people used to look at us as <laughs> if to say, what is it? Like, all the white people used to look at yeah. me going, yeah, what are you doing with that guy? Mm. And all the black people used to look at me going, look at him going, what are you doing here? I'm like, Jesus, everyone's going to calm down. It here. does look like a comedy sketch is, is going to happen. Like like you hanging out with an African-American because you're so white. <laughs> Very, I'm so white. And ginger. Like, it's awesome. He's, he's a doctor. It was his birthday the other day. Shout out to Antoine for your birthday. I did message Shout him out on Antoine. his moment. But what's he done? We're actually, I think Antoine's in Japan. Oh, cool. Where are we? Antoine, you did message me the other day. There we go, Antoine. Where are you, Antoine? You're in Japan. You're in our time. Tokyo. He's in Tokyo. That's it. Oh, cool. Antoine Jones. Let's have a look at Antoine. What's he doing? Sends any photos for me? Oh, damn. He's on stage and everything. Oh, yeah. There he is. Holy crap. See? He looks like a cool guy. Oh, he's a great guy. We had some times in the Greek islands. Let's not talk about that ever again. <laughs> you brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So okay. we're going. Okay. So that's fight one. 49 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, we're going to cut so much. The rest, okay, moving on. 